So the four individuals who were arrested after that security breach yesterday were produced in court today. They've been sent to police custody for seven days of questioning. All four have been charged under the tough anti-terror law, UAP, and various sections of the Indian Penal Code. No smoke without fire. And in the case of these youngsters, behind the shocking Wednesday attack on Parliament, the fire may have been ignited months ago. These terror accused, an engineer, aspiring teacher, an e-rickshaw driver and an NGO worker. They have diverse profiles and backgrounds but the same aim, for which they had been meeting for more than a year. Now in the custody of the Delhi police, they have said they wanted to draw the government's attention to issues like unemployment, inflation and the situation in Manipur. Sources say the six accused, all associated with a radical social media group, first met in Chandigarh during the farmers' protest more than a year ago. Nine months later, they started planning the security breach. The police, after getting a legal opinion, has also slapped UAPA. Further investigation is currently on to nab the fifth one, who is Lalija, who coordinated the entire thing, who also shot videos and then chatted with his friends. So, the police is trying to nab uh, Lalija to see whether there is any other organization or any other handler who instigated this particular uh, group into this misguided extreme position that they took uh, inside the parliament of Syria. But the spotlight is on this BJP MP from Mysuru, on whose passes the accused entered the parliament premises. Sources say Simha's office has been in touch with the main accused Manaranjan for the past three months. In his meeting with the speaker, the journalist turned politician said he had no additional information about the accused, raising questions about negligence on the part of his office. BJP MP Pratap Simha has many questions to answer. The onus is entirely on his office as to why passes were given to the accused without thorough background checks. The fact that his office knew the accused well and that he visited this place multiple times in the past three months raises even more serious questions. He is expected to join the investigation soon, with the Delhi police likely to record his statement in the next couple of days. With Arvind Gurasekar and camera person Ashwini Mehra, Vedant for NDTV.